John Varden prepared for a little hunting trip this afternoon. So did Buddy Moon. John and Buddy will be hunting for Yanks. War between the states, Yanks. John and Buddy are members of the Sons of the Confederate oh, Veterans, some of this and stuff. this weekend up at Burrup Museum, they'll step into a time machine and step out smack dab in the middle of the American Civil War. There'll be uh, troops here depicting what it was like to have uh, been in the a Civil War encampment here during the period between 61 and 65. Uh, they'll be sitting around cleaning their guns or uh, writing letters home, repairing their clothes, perhaps putting buttons on them. Things heat up around 2 o'clock Saturday and Sunday at Burrup Museum as the blue and gray engage in a skirmish. That's always a highlight for the reenactors, though they enjoy being able to show the public how life was for a Civil War soldier. No, That's called a wrist sword. breaker, and the reason for that, let me show you, no. is if you swing it, if you swing <laughs> it sometimes swing it. and hit something, uh -huh. the blade will spin around, and that basket oh. to protect your arm will hit your wrist, and it can break your wrist. Oh. Another thing about a sword a lot of people don't realize, and that is it doesn't have to be real sharp because of the weight of it. The reenactors will camp out the entire weekend at Burrett, eating campfire fixed meals and sleeping on genuine straw cots, all the while keeping a sharp eye out for those yanks. Hey, how's you guys doing? John, ain't that a Yankee? Yeah, I believe it be a Yankee, sure enough. No, no, it's Dick Curtis at large, Huntsville. It was Dick Curtis at large. 